Nostalgia, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a another video on my channel today. We're talking FIFA Street, the classic, the urban, the most ruthless FIFA game of all human history. Friendships were destroyed over this game. FIFA Street was the FIFA equivalent of 1v1 on Rust, bro. You could play against your mate on FIFA 07 and beat him with Barcelona, but that really means nothing of a test of skill, unlike FIFA Street. The amount of times in my childhood, man, that we go outside, go play football, then we come back, and then we're just having 1v1 battles. 8, 10, 12 of our mates just in a room, all over a PS. PS2. There's always one kid that brings their dead ass PS2 controller and we gotta have a broken one. So then someone's complaining that their R1 button doesn't work correctly. Mate, it's just excuses. Down below, I want you to tell me your thoughts, your opinions, your dreams, your beliefs about this game because just looking at this, just feeling the game right now, the music, the vibes it's giving, it's making me want to go play football, man. I'm not gonna lie. So if you guys do enjoy, let's smash the like button. Let's hit 2,000 likes. And also, we are so close. We're literally less than 800 subscribers away from a quarter of a million so please if you're new here right now please go drop some love in the video if you guys do like retro fifa content then this is a place for you so today as you can tell we're getting into some fifa streets nostalgia talking about the memories going into the game what was good and also going into fifa street the kind of other version of it back in 2012 that isn't really spoke about much and then we could go into volta and exactly why volta hasn't got the same amount of memories hasn't got the same amount of love as what fifa street does get there's a few reasons and i'll be going into it myself my own personal opinion but let's not go into volta whatever volta volta can't even wash the boots of fifa street bro let's get into the og and see why is it so great it's tricky, 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 tricky. It's dumb. I'm not gonna lie, this may sound stupid, but the fact that the game is so dumb in so many ways, the mechanics, the character screens, the colors of their hair, and the wacky designs, and the wacky body shapes that you can make, the game doesn't take itself seriously in any way whatsoever. You've got power moves, you've got combo breakers, which is the core fundamental of the game. Every time you get a game breaker in FIFA Street, you get this sudden, just overwhelming power urge in your body. The biggest sense of power I've ever had in my entire life is by playing FIFA Street and getting that combo bar higher and higher and higher up. It urges you to skill. It urges you to get past players. And the more that you skill, the more nice the skills you do, the better skills you do, then the more of your combo that you will fill up until you get yourself a game breaker. And then it's just this slow motion, dramatic, everything's all gone into your own world and just just and it just goes in back your net. Your shot or your header or your pinky finger has the power of a thousand suns as it just smashes through the goal. Everything I've just said in the last minute may make no sense. And it may be like, okay, well, who can have fun playing a game that that isn't realistic? Maybe it's because nowadays every single game that you play, if it's FIFA, if it's Call of Duty, if it's CSGO, every single game takes itself so seriously that back in these days, it was arcadey. This was pure arcade games and it didn't matter if it was realistic or not you could have Ronaldinho in the streets of London yeah surrounded by road men wearing Longsdale and he's still there popping up flip flaps it doesn't matter what your feelings are this is the world of FIFA Street it doesn't need to make sense it doesn't need to make sense you can get a bloke with purple hair be 6 foot 10 weigh 500 pounds and you can still do rainbow flicks with him it doesn't matter because that's the entire point of this game is just to have fun just dumb fun for if it's five minutes ten minutes an hour with your friends it doesn't matter maybe that's the reason why people look back on fifa streets or particularly the old fifas or really the old any game franchise. People look back in the old Call of Duties as the glory days of Modern Warfare 2, of Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, because back in these days, it didn't take itself so seriously. It was just a power fantasy the entire time, and that what this is as well, is a power fantasy of doing rainbow flicks from the more surreal angles with some random guy who weighs 500 pounds called Dave. So for the last three minutes, you may just think that I'm just waffling here, talking about just some nonsense, and hey, you may think that, right? But it's pretty obvious that this is how people see video games now, and that there is a real part of nostalgia that is in the center of all of us combined here, all of us look back in our childhood or whatever else, 
for whatever reason, good or for bad. So I've talked about the retro FIFA Street. Now let's talk about the other FIFA Street, shall we? Let's just have a little touch in it. So there was FIFA Street 1 and then FIFA Street 2. Both of these have really got the same kind of memories. And then there's FIFA Street 3, which is a bit more different. It's got a different style of the art of the game. And it was still liked, but it wasn't really given the same amount of love as what the originals were. For whatever reason that is, I'm not really too sure because it was pretty much the same game, just with a different kind of art style to it. Just to try and explain, I'm going to go play you the game sounds, the actual gameplay of FIFA Street Original to, let's say, FIFA Street 3. You relax a bit now. Three goes to the good. Ronaldinho goes in for the tackle there. He makes it look so easy. Who's the man now? Oh! If you get what I mean, and you get what I mean here, there's just a lack of, <clears throat> you know, a lack of like, like, you hear that, like, it just doesn't slap the same way, you get me? Now, I'm not saying that FIFA Street 3 is particularly a bad FIFA Street, it just has a kind of, eh, kind of mentality to it compared to the retro ones, but it did do quite well compared to the fourth, FIFA Street 4 or FIFA Street with, it's just called FIFA Street to make you really confused. I mean, not like there were literally three previous FIFA Streets. No, this is FIFA Street. The only one that matters. Dropped back in 2012, back when FIFA 12 was a thing. So basically it was FIFA 12, but in a corridor. I'm not saying that it was a bad FIFA Street. I actually remember buying this on launch day and I actually somewhat enjoyed it. But that's because it's been so long since the last time I played the retro ones that I just kind of felt like I had to get it just because... I felt like I would be completing some sort, of, some sort of life journey by doing this. It wasn't bad by any means. Like, I, I enjoyed it, I'll be honest, at your times. But this is when I come to the issue between the old FIFA Streets and the new version of it and Volta. And this is the sole fundamental reason why people don't see it in the same way and don't enjoy it in the same way. And that's because, look, if I wanted to play a game of football, a game of FIFA, then I'll play FIFA. If I want to play FIFA Street, then I'll play FIFA Street. Two of these should be two completely different things. FIFA should be football with normal realistic mechanics that make sense. And then FIFA Street should be arcadey, nothing makes sense. When FIFA Street 4 came out, it basically felt like the same realistic mechanics in normal FIFA, but in a street setting, which may be a good thing, but I don't play FIFA Street for that reason. Now, it wasn't too bad compared to Volta, which we'll get into soon. It just didn't have the same sense of, oh my god, this is so crazy compared to the retro ones, in my humble opinion. Now, maybe you may think I'm waffling and you may be right for all I know. It, it was okay to play at times and it was like dumb fun on occasion. Just didn't have the same level as the retro ones. I still felt like there should have been like a mod that you can have your own option to go for some nutty game breaker kind of mechanic that didn't really exist in this FIFA. There was no game breakers, which was literally the entire reason why people played FIFA Street. The entire reason why people played this game and you couldn't do it. So like, it, it, you might as well just play FIFA because that's the point of FIFA. The fact that FIFA Street 4 or FIFA Street didn't have game breakers kind of just it didn't ruin the game by any mean, but it kind of just took that kind of essence of just nonsense out of it, which made it feel a bit more serious than what it probably should have been. But it was still fine. It was still a game that I remember playing, and I had some pretty nice moments playing it. Just without the essence of Game Breakers, it just kind of felt like you're doing the same thing each time, and yeah. So with that said, let's get into... Um, the elephant in the room. So since FIFA Street 4, which is back in 2012, there was literally nothing about FIFA Street 
ever. And I remember being back in FIFA 17, FIFA 18, um, even 19, saying, yo, I would love it if there's a FIFA Street mode, something that casual players can play. When we're bored of playing this competitive FIFA, we can go and play a casual, fun, nonsense game of football. Like typical FIFA Street. And our prayers were answered, it seemed, back for FIFA 20. There were promotions of this new street football, but it wasn't called FIFA Street, it was called Volta. Now, I believe the reason why they couldn't do it is because of licenses, even though they made the game FIFA Street. I don't know what the reason was why they called it Volta and not FIFA Street. The fact that it's not called FIFA Street itself gave me a bit of a concerning thought process, thinking, well, if it's not called FIFA Street, where would it be like FIFA Street at all? And lads, it's nothing like FIFA Street whatsoever. It's so artificial. It's so clean. Imagine both FIFA Streets or Volta like a burger. One burger is from some urban, small, local food chain in your local area with some new flair to it. It's something completely brand new and you don't know what you may get each time. Or you could get your other burger from McDonald's. This is Volta, which is the same thing every single time. You know exactly what you're going to get, and it's very simple. It's quite plain. You get a cheeseburger from Mackey's. It's a small, tiny little patty thing, but from your local, it's this big, bulky, full of sauce, full of flavor. Again, I'm completely waffling here, but this is how I compare Volta to FIFA Street. Volta feels artificial, it feels too clean, it feels too safe, and it feels like FIFA. Like, this is not arcadey, it's literally playing FIFA 21, but in a smaller setting. It's a corridor, bro, you could barely even move. When you play Volta online with people, you know what they do? They play Volta like it's an actual game of football. They play it as if they're playing Ultimate Team. They're passing the ball around, they're sweating it, they're doing y free balls, they're barely even skilling, there's no actual reasons to skill because there's no such thing as game breakers. There's barely even any extra score by doing skills in the first place, so doing skills really means nothing. It's just, oh, if you want to, you can do skills, but it doesn't really matter. You don't get any benefit of doing skills. If, if anything, you do worse by doing skills because you lose the ball more. So before I compare any more FIFA to burgers, I'm going to end off the video here with this simple statement. The reason why we loved FIFA Street so much and that we all have memories of playing this game is because it is nothing that's comparable to what we have now. Anything we have now is just not anywhere near to what it was like back in the day. So that's why we think about it so much. If we want to play FIFA, then we'll play FIFA. If we want to play FIFA Street, we'll play FIFA Street. Nowadays, the only thing that makes Volta different to normal FIFA is the fact that it's in a smaller setting. Other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. That, simply put, is why FIFA Street is so iconic, is so nostalgic, because I'm sure that you've got memories of you playing with your brother or sister or a mate of yours or against anyone or just against the AI just vibing. If it was for five minutes or 10 minutes or half an hour it didn't really matter it was there for whatever you needed it to be i really did enjoy making this video if you guys do enjoy then smash the like button subscribe if you're new and tell me down below in the comments what's your thoughts on fifa street do you actually like volta am i being too harsh in it let me know maybe i am being too harsh it. i just when i play it it just doesn't give enough reason to do skills. If anything, you do skills and you actually do worse. And there's no real score with actually doing skills. And it just doesn't feel like an actual different game mode compared to normal FIFA, in my opinion. But hey, maybe that's just me. Tell me what's down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for your time. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you next time. Peace.